Hello and welcome to this meditation. You can now allow yourself to relax into your heart. Just let go of any anxiety, any worry as you go deeper into love's awareness. can allow love's awareness to pursue any area within where there is doubt, doubt of your divinity, doubt of your dreams becoming reality. Doubt towards you being worthy of love, whatever it may be, allow yourself to feel through that doubt and just bring love's awareness into that doubt to heal it now. As you heal this doubt, you are setting yourself free into eternal expansion in love. You can allow your imagination to expand your consciousness. into a greater state of awakening, a greater state of healing, a greater state of freedom. Allow yourself to relax into the peace that you are beginning to feel in these places that were once filled with doubt, that were once filled with confusion. As you receive this healing in your consciousness, you can see more of God's beauty, God's vision, God's color, and God's light shining within. now bring all of this new life into your physical reality as you move forward on your ascension journey. Let's take one more moment ground into this new peace, this new awareness, and this new understanding in the power of your choice to accept your divine self and to live a divine life.
Thank you and namaste. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the card reading for today's Sunday service. And I'm Drake, and let's get started. I'm using the Work Your Light deck by Rebecca Campbell. I think it's a really beautiful deck. And so, yeah, the first card that I got here is Don't Dim to Fit In. How are you dimming your light in order to fit in? Yeah, this, this card to me is just a message of, you know, don't don't shut yourself down to impress others or to you know fit into the crowd we all have we all have our our special personalities that we have we all have something about us right that that brings light into the room we all have our special gift from from god that we give you know this card reminds me kind of of our our life purpose because we're all put on this earth to to do something and that's our life purpose. And so, you know, if you're playing small or thinking small or maybe pushing your life purpose off or pushing, putting yourself there off, this card is kind of urging us to, hey, it's safe to go out there. It's safe to reveal your beauty, your light, your, you know, attractiveness, whatever, whatever it is that maybe you're afraid of putting out there, it's okay to do that. And to know that like, God wants you to do that, because that's how God created you. God didn't create you to be small or hide yourself away in a corner. He didn't say no, 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 child, go over there, right? Stay there. No, he said, go out into the world and love people, share yourself, show them, show them me, right? Show them God. And so that's what this card is saying. Just, you know, honor the God in you, see that you are divine and that you are, you know, just an asset of God, right? You, you flow with God and you bring God to other people, right? And God comes through you. So it's okay to let that happen. You don't need to shut that off. I like that card. That's a nice card. And so the next card we got is trust your path. If you knew you would be supported, what would you do? Yeah, so this ties in perfectly with the other card. And it's just, you know, God saying, hey, like, trust me. If you're if you're having trouble with your life purpose, or maybe it's just anything in your life, you know, it's important to remember, like, to go back to that faith that you have in God and in your journey and to trust him and to trust that he has your best and highest interest in mind and he's not going to lead you somewhere that you don't need to go and maybe it's you know he's leading you somewhere where you're oh my gosh i don't really trust this i don't know what's going on this is kind of scary this is uncomfortable for me that's okay it's okay to to take new adventures with god because that's exactly what you need to do in that moment and that's okay and so you know this card is just really urging you to to have faith to have faith in your journey have faith in yourself have faith in god and uh, when you do that, you can really allow yourself self to just shine in the world and shine um, with whatever you're being called to do. And yeah, I'm just really getting like, it's okay to shine. It's okay to share yourself. Oh, I love this. This is good too. Okay, so the last card we got is protection. Call back your power. Cut the cords. Soul retrieval. Yeah, and so this is saying that as you're you're shining your light and you're going out there and you're living your purpose, right? You're loving people. You are protected by God, you know, and you have you have that power within you. You have the power of protection, of safety, of support. And whenever you feel like you don't have that power, you can you can call on God. You know, you can call on that power, that strength. Whatever you need in that moment, you can call God for it. And God will be there backing you up. And so it's okay to like admit that you need God sometimes. It's okay to admit that you need love in this space, that you need love in this area of your life and that you need help. And you know, with this card, it's just very, you can see that there's, there's kind of like more than one person. And so, you know, it reminds me of just, you know, unionism, and how we are all, you know, just together, supporting each other, loving one another. And that's what this religion 
really is about is just loving yourself, loving one another, loving God, right? And so that's just that's just a perfect card, and I love that. I just keep looking at them over here because I just love this deck. But yeah, so let's just go over our cards one more time. So it's don't dim to fit in. Love that card. Trust your path and protection. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you guys so much and enjoy the rest of your Sunday service. Bye-bye. Hello, I'm Lorenzo. And I am Alexandra. And we are introducing today's Sunday Sermon by Adam and Brianne. Mm -hmm. They made a very beautiful and I think like very, I would say, to the heart um, sermon mm -hmm. about life purpose and what it takes for you to discover your life purpose, what it takes for you to deepen in your life purpose, mm -hmm. what it takes for you to embrace your life purpose and fully live it. And I love any conversation, every every opportunity we have to talk about life purpose because um, life purpose has been something that has been like, crucial for our harmonious union. Mm -hmm. It was actually the very thing that we had to heal in order to attain our harmonious union. We were in union and we, we had the relationship and the friendship part down. But we really had no idea about life purpose and how important uh, life purpose was for our union. Yeah. So, of course, whenever there's an opportunity to talk about this, I'm like, oh, yes, let's <laughs> do it. Yeah, it's a very beautiful subject. And I know like for us, it, it really surprised us a lot into how we develop and how we got to it. Because I know that uh, from our experience, even even that, like when we got into harmonious union that how our life purpose supported it into that was uh, us just becoming ascension coaches mm -hmm. and that was really beautiful for us to see that the day we became ascension coaches we graduated so mm -hmm. let's say it was the day when we came into a uh, harmonious union which was very beautiful and a sign there for us to see that we are in alignment and we're doing good yeah and Life purpose is, you know, part of the teachings of union. It's, uh, it's also it's the twin flame part, but also is the twin like uh, the life purpose. And mm -hmm. I love how Adam and Brienne at some point touch upon how how complementary and how connected these two areas of your life are. I know that for us, this is why we had issues in our union because we mm -hmm. were kind of operating from like the old world, like or like society where. Mm -hmm. I have a job, I have my 9 to 5, Laurence would have to have his 9 to 5 and we're gonna see each other afterwards and um, it didn't really resonate with us either because it felt like our relationship wasn't uh, primary, mm -hmm. there wasn't a lot of time left for our union and there was always this kind of obstacle in in us going deeper in our intimacy in our romance in everything and we didn't knew why because until we have come to the teachings of union everybody around us told us no this is how it should be and you're doing good and even if it didn't really feel good in our hearts we were like mm, okay i guess we will do this and until we find something better and that's when the teachings of union really really hit home with us, mm -hmm. I think. And, um, mm -hmm. yeah. It really, like, helped us and, like, it helped us see, like, the direction of uh, where we should go. And as well, like, it helped us relax, I think, into how we were feeling to live, actually. Mm -hmm. And I feel like, you know, the teaching of Union really, like, provided that safe platform where we could relax into being ourselves. Exactly. And recognize, like, what we have learned so far is actually of use and is not discardable like that. Yes, exactly. And this was actually one of the first things that I got from Life Purpose class um, that really kind of hit uh, home to my heart. And I was mm -hmm. like, oh, yeah, this is I love this. And the lesson was Jeff was explaining how everything that you have learned across your life, every situation, every challenge, everything 
is of use for you in one way or another for your life purpose. Mm -hmm. And for me, I was like, I felt so much joy in my heart about that because I had all of these, how to say, things in my life that I didn't knew how they would connect to, to my life purpose. But, mm -hmm. and I still don't know, I think like some things in my life, like how they connect, they were, we're still deepening in that area. But I feel like having that encouragement and that like voice that speaks differently from everybody around mm -hmm. you and that resonates with you deeply in, in your heart was so crucial for me to even just allow myself to relax into my life purpose and just explore this idea and this concept um, much deeper and to really adopt it as a way of life. And um, this is something that Adam and Brian also talk about in, in their sermon, how, you know, how, how am I supposed to make a living or, you know, live life with everything that I have gone through? And that is the very core and the very essence of your life purpose. And it, it does require faith. Mm -hmm. It does require um, humility, uh, patience, being humble to whatever God is showing you. And really perseverance in moving to the challenges to really discover that life purpose, you know, and kind of see how everything is um, being connected by God through all of those those life experiences that for you don't make any sense maybe right now or haven't made any sense. But, you know, the truth is that God, you know, God is a genius and uh He's like working things behind the scenes in ways that we, we never expect and we never, you know, understand. We never, we, we could never imagine, imagine, you know, the way that God really, um, how to say, makes everything happen. And mm -hmm. I think that this was also one of the things that has helped me relax, not only in my life purpose, but in my life in general, is that mm -hmm. I... I might have desires in my heart. Be the desire for the perfect lover, your twin flame. Be the desire for your perfect career, your life purpose. Be the desire the, uh, for your perfect home, for your perfect food, for your for perfect play, for your perfect, mm -hmm. you know, family, for your perfect pets, everything, you know, all of those desires. If you have faith in God and if you allow yourself to move through the process of healing using the mirror exercise you will arrive there it just requires mm -hmm. an incredible amount of faith to to go through this process yes i totally agree with that mm -hmm. yeah good well i feel like uh, complete with our introduction we don't want to take too much of like uh, um yeah, yeah we're gonna let adam and brian shine so therefore <laughs> yes yeah so let's hear from Adam and Brianne on Life Purpose. Hello, we're Adam and Brianne. We're Twin Flames and Harmonious Union, and we'll be your ministers of the union for this Sunday service. Today, we would like to talk to you about life purpose and how your life purpose is having a partnership with life. And the unfolding of that is found by moving through the challenges that are being placed on your plate and presented to you currently. But before we begin, let's get started with our opening ohms and our opening prayer. You're welcome to follow along out loud or in your heart. And now to our opening prayer. I am the only child of God, forever part of him. I am created by him in perfection, and there I always remain. My mind is my sanctuary, where I keep his holy creation sacred. 
I will only allow him in his voice. I will only accept his word. Today, I will hear the word of God. I surrender myself to his teachings through his divine channel. I will honor what he has spoken and accept it as his will. I will be obedient to his word, for this is my salvation. In Christ's name, um, um, amen. amen. Yeah, so I'm going to share a bit of my story here. Um, I wasn't sure like what my uh, life experience, uh, how that will, you know, be a part of what I do today, basically. And it's kind of like just now kind of like started to unfold a bit. Uh, so when I was 21, um, I had a child. Um, it was a couple of years later. Um, discovered that he has autism so with that there was of course a lot of stuff to move through and uh because it's not your typical you know um having a child and you know there's a lot of extra things going into that with you know um assessments and you know you have special education here and there and figuring out the the best ways to deal with these things and yeah it was not not an easy time um but you know we moved on along um and you know it got easier as we went along but there was also new challenges coming up as well you know as he grew and kind of like we were figuring it out there and and also at that time i didn't have this work so if if i did have that work it would be a lot easier basically the teachings know? of unionism exactly yeah. right <laughs> this work you know kind of like assuming everybody knows what's going on yeah, everyone knows what's good. up yeah. yeah so yeah it was a bit of a challenge i moved through a lot with that and also with that also came some experience with i served many years on the local uh, autism society board i was also representative um, on a lot of projects with the hospital committee at that time uh kind of like uh, being a bit of a spokesperson for um the autism society and um yeah uh, children adults with autism and so moving on along to today it's been like suddenly we're you know experiencing uh, a lot of people around us maybe on the spectrum as well mm -hmm. and uh this is also where I can, you know, utilize my uh, experience, which I had no idea how, how would, what does this relate? Like, you know, in taking care of my child, I had to like drop out of school because, you know, at that time I also got sick because, you know, all spiritual things, of yeah. course, right? But um, in that I couldn't continue my schooling and all that. And I was like, well, how is, how am I going to amount to anything? How is this going to, um, you know, I'll basically just be, you know, a parent raising a child and, you know, I don't have, you know, any finished college or anything like this, like a degree. Um, but uh, everything unfolds, you know, in due time. We're not always going to know in the time what, what it is, what it's going to turn into. Mm -hmm. But um, in this new space there, you know, there's a, there's a purpose for all this life experience. God knew all along. So, and here we are today with this, you know, I can uh, put to use my knowledge and my experience here. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, and we have a lot to learn from each other here as well, you know, as we move on along and build a, yeah. the community in this space, but also making sure everyone is supported and have what they need and yeah. Yeah, so like I wanted to ask you, um, you know, because as we know with life purpose, we mm -hmm. have a lot of challenges that arise in our reality in order to reveal to us, you know, our life purpose. And so what kind of challenges, are there any um, that stand out in particular that you would like to share that you experience while raising our son? Yeah, I think um, a lot of the time in the, uh, like with autism there's a lot of uh communication involved which is like <laughs> oftentimes like it's a it's a slightly different processing system so communication has been a thing that uh has been a challenge um you know as he kind of like grew up but of course you know as it is your child you 
naturally also learn to um, see what there is. But, you know, there's, you know, with the whole spectrum as well, there's, you know, you have those that are nonverbal and maybe also um, have a lot of mental um, disabilities in addition to that. So the spectrum is enormous. But then, you know, even for those uh, that are nonverbal, they can still communicate. So I think mm -hmm. communication has been uh, something near and dear to my heart. You know, it's uh, also a challenge because uh, I have had issues with expression mm -hmm. a lot, yeah. right? So in that sense, it has been, but a um, bit of a challenge to move through. But uh, yeah, like communication is key, basically. Because even if a child can talk, or an adult, of course, but mm. there's still a way to communicate. You just have to find the key. Mm. You know, you have to find the key that unlocks that communication, whether it's pictures or whether it's like a talking, um, I don't know what you call these devices. Uh, there's, there's always something because mm -hmm. everyone can communicate in some sort of way. So that has been you know, a challenge, something I've been working on and also been very like invested in and that's done with, with my child and other um, kids too that mm -hmm. I've met along, along the way there. Mm -hmm. And also, of course, um, older kids and, and adults as well in that. But um, that has been something. Uh, and it's also uh, something around um, meltdowns. That has been a big challenge, <laughs> um, which of course, uh, when I uh, started learning, uh, you know, the work, Unionism, uh, mirror exercise, these things, uh, he started like changing a whole bunch. Everything just uh, shifted, basically. Uh, we had a tool that uh, we could use there. Of course, he doesn't really actively do the mirror exercise. We're working on like, you know, what are feelings and what feeling is this and how do we maneuver it? But um, yeah, all of that calm down because oftentimes that's an issue because like they they don't feel understood, right? So that's that's how to deal with that. Mm -hmm. And and it's kind of like we can all, even if we're on the spectrum or not, that can be a challenge, like maneuvering big feelings mm -hmm. and uh, and how to not shut down, you know, and, yeah. and these things. So yeah, I would say. Was there something else here? Yeah, no, the only thing I was going to ask you is like, in what ways did you, because um, you mentioned communication mm -hmm. and it being, you know, not just verbal, like we don't just communicate verbally, yeah. but what were the ways that you found uh, made communication much easier? Like, um, was it mannerisms or was there anything in particular? Yeah, with, 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 with our song? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I yeah. find like using my body. Mm. Um, hands stop mm -hmm. you know like because this is where you can use signs too they might not be the same as the you know uh, american or you know whichever sign language but using your body stop right mm -hmm. and, and and these things because because it's not uh, often uh, easy for uh, people with autism to read you know social cues or what's going on body language in that sense but you can feel energy mm. right i love that yeah yeah so sometimes you got to use your body in that sense to be like, hey, mm -hmm. and you feel that energy. And then, yeah, there's some, you know, it can be a redirection just by, you know, using mm -hmm. your energy there in a sense with, with alongside with some communication about what's going on. Yeah, because energy communicates, um, energy is the communication, yeah. right? And when you're, uh, you're firm in your peace and, and you're loving, uh, they're immediately going to respond to that. Mm -hmm. And I see um, our son responds very well to just uh, that act of love, mm -hmm. that uh, be, being in a state of peace. Um, it's instant, like an instant, okay, yeah, you know, let's go in this direction. It's very easy and it, it flows. There's a uh, harmony there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it just brings up how um, this has been coming up for us a lot, how we, you know, um, our desire for helping families that have uh, kids with autism or of mm -hmm. course adults you know in the families having autism just because there's just a big need for support basically yeah. and and you know with the mirror exercise and you know um, with unionism we can mm -hmm. make a lot of changes because people are hurting in this area yeah yeah definitely mm -hmm.
Yeah, just as you're sharing, uh, I love how God, you know, we co-create with God and you manifested, you know, co-created with God and having these experiences in your life, which who knew it would evolve into what it is today, mm -hmm. right? Which is, um, it's a service, uh, well, not a service, but a way to serve yeah. the consciousness and, and love and support just through your, your life experience. Mm -hmm. That's really beautiful. And um, it's like, too, you don't even know that you're doing it. It's mm -hmm. just happening you know, until you come into the awareness of, oh, wow, like all along, I was, I've been doing what God has been guiding me to do. And there was deep purpose. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it mattered, right? And um, you were just being yourself. Yeah, of course, I'm not a medical professional. I yeah. can't diagnose <laughs> or anything. Uh, just life experience. There's just life experience, yes. basically. And, uh, and, and that's, that's what I have, a you know, special degree in I know, right? <laughs> Some special experience there, right? Mm -hmm. So that's how I can use that. I don't know everything. I, I just been around it a lot. And, mm -hmm. you know, I raised a child, yeah. you know, for almost 20 years. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, going back to as well, when you said the mirror exercise, mm -hmm. you know, the tool, I just wanted to add to that as well. When you're following the teachings of unionism and you're embodying you're embodying peace and love and you're following um, your path of ascension, those that are around you, they, they benefit from that because you're, you're raising your vibration. And so as you raised your vibration and you applied this in your mm -hmm. life, um, of course, our son was benefiting from it or is yep. because uh, it, you vibrate love, you vibrate peace and harmony. And it's incredibly, it's powerful and it's healing. Yeah. And he definitely heals along with us as we mm -hmm. just heal. Suddenly he's there with, you know, hey, I'm going to do this now. And we're like, what's going on here? You know, it's very yeah. interesting sometimes. Right? He's very intuitive as well. So, mm -hmm. yeah, he follows along. Um, yeah, we're just doing it a little bit of a different way with him. Mm -hmm. Right. And he just naturally follows along without us, you know focusing so much on okay let's do the mirror exercise yeah. now and you know it's just basically working on feelings and it's okay to have feelings and mm -hmm. and you know how you um act when you have feelings or how to um what would be the best word how to maneuver feelings yeah navigate yeah, yeah navigate feelings mm -hmm. yeah yeah, it just was what popping in my mind is what Jeff and Shalia always say throughout uh, Twin Flame Ascension School and Life Purpose class is love is the teacher. Mm -hmm. So when you're choosing to remain with love and you're extending that to, you know, those in your reality, uh, love naturally teaches, mm -hmm. love naturally guides. It's just so, uh, it's our natural state of being and you just be with that love and it shows you and mm -hmm. it teaches those around you and vice versa we're, you know, we're all being taught, uh, you know, by love in some form, some way in our life. Yeah, he's definitely our teacher too. For sure. And that is probably <laughs> part of his life purpose, yeah. being a teacher. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it comes so natural, like yeah. your life purpose is who you are extended mm -hmm. to the world of service. It's so easy. And he's just being himself. Mm -hmm. I can tell you a lot of teacher and teacher's assistants have had uh, quite their, you know, work cut out for them because he, he sees where their weak spots are and he's going to push on them mm -hmm. just by being himself. And they're either, they either have to, you know, uh, strengthen in that place or they have to kind of like, well, maybe this wasn't for me. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, but it's all love still. Right. But he's mm -hmm. just being himself and, and that's how he teaches. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, so speaking of being mm -hmm. your authentic self, mm -hmm. yeah, you ready to shift gears here? Did you? Sure. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, like I wanted to share on, you know, my end about our life purpose and how me just following the teachings of unionism, life purpose class, how I've just slowly deepened into, we have deepened into our life purpose together in our union. Mm -hmm. And you know, I was just reflecting on this the other day and we were talking about it, like how easy it actually was. Like when you look back, you don't think it is at the time, but then when you look back at your journey, you're like, wow, that was um, actually easier than I thought. And so, yeah, like uh, in the Twin Flames Universe community, the Church of Union community, 
Um, I just, uh, well, I always had a desire to just be of service. Like I love to, um, you know, make people laugh. Mm -hmm. We love to, you know, support people. We love to love. We people. love to love. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it's true though. Exactly. Yeah. And we want people to experience, uh, you know, a good life. Right. Uh, happiness. Right? See them thriving yeah. as well, you know, so that was something that was always in my heart and I didn't exactly know how that was going to come to be. I just, you know, did what I could, you know, in whatever setting I was in to be, uh, be loving and, you know, caring. And so eventually that evolved into, as I deepened into my relationship with the community, it evolved into one day being invited to be an HR manager. Mm -hmm. It was a very new thing. And I have no corporate experience whatsoever <laughs> in HR. And like, uh, as I, as I deepen into it, it was essentially like HR is just like supporting and um, it's, it's relationships, right? It's mm -hmm. partnerships. And so as I continue just to follow my heart and deepen into that, you know, that evolved into, okay, well, you know, just randomly one day, would you like to be our HR director? It's like, oh, okay, well, now there's this, you know, don't know how to do that either, but it sounds good. So let's, let's move forward with that. And, and I did, and that slowly evolved into, you know, being invited to be the COO eventually and just so forth and so on. And we were just reflecting on that, you know, seeing how it's actually so easy, like regardless of your life or your, um, you know, what has happened in your life, you're just you, you being your authentic self and you're going to naturally fall in line with your purpose. Yeah. I would say our life experience is, is our education, mm. is our strength, is our gift basically. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. Well, mm -hmm. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So what else do we got here? About life purpose? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, um, yeah, going back to what we said in the very beginning, you know, your challenges, when you choose and claim your life purpose, you're going to be presented with challenges. And sometimes it may not even make sense, like, okay, well, I've chosen and claimed my life purpose, but I feel like I'm being guided in a completely different direction now. Mm -hmm. Well, this is you getting, you got to get to know yourself in order to know your life purpose. And so your challenges, what comes to be on your plate, you move through those and you get to know, oh, wow, okay. I didn't know this about myself. And this feels, it unlocks your desires. It unlocks parts of you that maybe you didn't know were there. And one thing evolves into another thing and so forth and so on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's true. Like, uh, these challenges like yeah, I think yeah you definitely a say you know uh with life purpose like you're gonna have your it's gonna be your biggest challenge basically mm -hmm. and it's the same often with your union you have yeah. those, uh, <laughs> those big blocks you know yeah you, but, exactly yeah. and another thing too like your life purpose is very it works in harmony with your twin flame union meaning like any blocks that are being presented in your twin flame union or your life purpose, they're going to be mirrored. Uh, like there's no separation there. So if you're having a upset with your twin flame, well, that same upset is in your life purpose as well. It's just going to be presented to you in a different way. And I know for us, like laying our foundation with our life purpose was what God guided us to focus on most or in, in the beginning in order to support our harmonious union. And so a lot of times God's going to lead you down the path of focusing more on your life purpose. And sometimes that will bring up upsets with people where they'll feel like, oh, well, am I neglecting my union? No, absolutely not. The challenges, challenges that are coming up in your life purpose, um, you're healing through those, which is also healing through the blocks in your, towards your union. And so you just allow that flow to guide you. Uh, however it's calling you to, you know, wherever it's calling you to and know that there's union in that there's no separation, whatever the challenges in front challenge is, is in front of you is, um, 
is the thing that's needing to be moved through for your entire union as a whole. Yeah. So as you say that, like, you know, like for me, there was communication, which mm -hmm. was one of them. And mm -hmm. also I have learned massive amounts of patience and understanding <laughs> just, you know, I'm a good man in the storm, you know, it's true. I I'll get through through, you know, like <laughs> you're having a panic attack. I'm there. <laughs> you just breathe, you know, we're kind of like, you know, you learn these things cause it's so important cause it's gonna, you know, you're, you'll have use for it in some way, but um, mm -hmm. that's some of my strengths. I, I have a lot of patience most times you do and the reason that i was <laughs> laughing is because i was just thinking this the other day is that uh like when i'm having sometimes i can have you know maybe a meltdown or be moving through a challenge and i or feel overwhelmed and um adam is like my rock in a sense because he has that experience of cultivated that patience that deep deep patience in his relationship with god it's almost in a sense like you're able to handle me in that space. Yeah. Yeah. Like that was um, a gift through life experience. That was a gift that Adam brought to the table mm -hmm. was having patience, which allows me, it's very loving and allows me to relax and ground and come into a state of peace. It's inviting when you hold, uh, when you hold that space for me in that way. Yeah. And it's going to be necessary because people are going to have big feelings. Yeah. Uh, if you're on the spectrum or if you're not on the spectrum uh, this is of course not a you know sermon on yeah. autism but it's just yeah. life experience right exactly. but there's going to be big feelings and mm -hmm. sometimes they can be hard to maneuver exactly. yeah so having some patience and some peace and some mm -hmm. steadiness involved is it's a good thing yeah so you can see like everything that you learn in your life it's going to be utilized in some way mm -hmm. someday it may seem completely irrelevant but as you move forward you're gonna be like wow that thing that thing is actually apply like i can apply it to today it there's purpose in it mm -hmm. and so yeah i just feel like that's your be a beautiful dance with god and even when you're not aware of it it's happening mm -hmm. it's always happening it's always happening mm -hmm. yeah oh good you got anything else I don't feel, do you have anything else? I feel pretty share? complete right now, so. All right. Yeah. All right, so we'll um, end this with um, the closing prayer and our closing alms. Yes. Father, I accept your word into my heart. I will honor your will in my life, and I will follow you without hesitation anywhere you ask. I know you guide me into your heart where I belong. I accept that you're everywhere, and your teaching is in all things. God, I know you provide me with this clarity of teachings of union, that I may be forever in union with you. I accept that you are in me as you are in my brother. I will not deny my brother your word and will share your teaching with him in any way you ask and only as you ask. For when I share my salvation with him, I fully claim my salvation and return to you with him. In Christ's name, um, amen. Speaking this prayer in your heart means you have accepted that you are on the path of awakening to your true divine nature. This is what it means to be a unionist. Follow the teachings of union with God wherever you find them and purify your consciousness into perfect union with your creator. And now for our closing notes. God bless. Namaste. Welcome back.
what an amazing sermon by Adam and Brian. I really, really enjoyed it. I really hope you enjoyed it as well. I feel like I also resonated with their journey a lot, with the the process, not necessarily how it looks like externally, mm -hmm. but just the process of how they work through things in their life and how they, you know, come together as twin frame as well and how Adam's experience brought one side uh, of the life purpose, kind of Brienne's experience also perfectly complemented Adam's mm -hmm. experience and how they can both together, you know, live in this space and just do their life purpose and feel very good, feel, you know, very fulfilled mm -hmm. about, uh, you know, that they can really live life by doing something they truly enjoy, they, they do truly like value and they care about. And I think that's one of the keys of life purpose that you really love and value what you do in each and every moment of your life. Yeah, and I could really like um, I resonate with Adam there, how he went through the process of learning about autism and just uh, communicating about that. And I feel like uh, how I relate, it's a bit uh, through a different thing, but it's a similar process. And for me, it's more with video games by me spending hours of, and hours as a kid, just playing a lot of video games, learning about video games and just spending in that environment. And now we are working on video games mm -hmm. <laughs> together, yeah. which is really beautiful. Yeah. And also I love that they didn't really sugarcoat like the, the life purpose experience. Mm -hmm. You will have challenges. You most probably will have the most challenging challenges in your life purpose. So if it's a it's a an area that you find most difficulty, most resistance, most you know trouble into approaching or healing, look at it seriously. It, it's, a, it's a really big gift that comes with you moving through all of those challenges. And I think that that's one of the things as unionists that we really take to heart and do is, you know, love, you know, we love ourselves where we feel, feel hurt. We love others where, um, you know, they need to as as God's ask and only as God ask, right? Um, but it's through really moving through those challenges and love, loving ourselves that we really allow ourselves to discover great riches, inner mm -hmm. riches and also external riches uh, come from this. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if you are interested to find out more about unionism and the teachings of unionism, we invite you to go over to the unionist.org website and there you will find everything that you need to know about us, about what we do, about our mission. Also there you can donate or tie to the Church of Union if you desire to support us and what we do mm -hmm. and the teachings of Union itself. We also invite you to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and you know hit that notification bell as well to get notified whenever we update and upload something. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a lot of amazing content that you can watch. Also, head on right after the service is over to the Unionism uh, Spiritual Discussion Facebook group where you can find a group of panelists doing the after church tea time where we go deeper with the topic of today's sermon. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Have a great Sunday, a great week ahead, and we will see you next time. Mm -hmm.